Okay, welcome back and thanks for joining us again for the Art Club. Um, with Easter coming up, we're going to give you a couple of ideas to do for some uh, Easter flowers and little things for the wall and that which we'll show you in another week. Uh, but this week we're going to concentrate on flowers. So, we've got all sorts of different ones here, you know, which I can show you. There's these, there's these. Uh, I mean, there's just lots and lots. You can make all sorts of different shapes. If you're interested in making any of these, then let's go for it. Okay, so the main things you'll need, well, the only things you'll need is pieces of paper, preferably different colours, which obviously makes your flowers look a bit prettier than just plain white, a pair of scissors, and some glue or a glue stick. Simple, that's all you need. So now you've decided that you're going to join us to make a flower. Um, each flower that you make, no matter what design it is, has to start off with a square piece of paper. Uh, so given that most of the paper we use is A4, and what we'll be setting out to you guys is A4, we'll start off with an oblong piece of paper and we have to make it into a square. So the first thing, fold it over, give it a good crease with your thumbnail, and then get a bit of scissors, or you can rip it, it's up to yourselves, but makes it to keep it nice and neat. A pair of scissors and just cut that piece off. Well, if you do that nice and neat, we can keep this piece and we can use this later. Uh, but for now, we just need the square piece. So we'll keep that piece for then a bit. This one, you've got your triangle folded. We're gonna do the simplest one we can do for now, which is called the three fold. So you fold it the second time across like so. Again, give it a good crease. And then a third time. And again, give it a good crease. And then all we're going to do, start at the bottom, but don't go. If I mark it with a pen on here, you don't really want to go past that point. Because uh, otherwise, it'll just fall apart. You'll have nothing to hold it together in the middle. So we'll start there and do a basic shape, maybe a half moon. But you can experiment with this and do it whichever way you want. And then when you open that up, it should have four big leaves on it. Should have. There we go. That's your most basic one. Which, let's face it, they're not very nice then, so we'll do a much nicer one in a sec. Okay guys, so now we've got the main flower. This little piece what you've kept, do exactly the same. Fold it over to the corner, because they all need to be started with a square. And again, give it a little snip across there to make you square. And again, fold it over triangle. Use your nail to give it a good crease. Fold it over triangle again. And then do the same as what you've done before. Remember to just leave a little bit at the bottom. Don't cut past there because otherwise it'll just fall apart. So we'll do exactly the same shout from there and make a nice big half moon. And that should be a smaller version of the one what you've already made. So there you go, it is. Now they're nice and simple to make, obviously if that's in a different colour, which we'll show you in a bit, um, it's going to stand out a bit more. Okay, so if you look at this one, which we've just done, it's got four petals on it. Uh, we're going to make one with an extra couple of petals on, so I'll have six petals, which basically just means doing another fold. So you're going to start off again with your square piece of paper. So you should know how to do that now, because you've seen us doing it. Give it a good crease, especially when you're doing the extra petal, because it gets a bit harder to cut at the end. So, again, keep that piece for after. So before we've done three folds, that's your second fold. And then that is your third fold, which we've done before. But now on this one, to put that extra petal in, you do a fourth fold. So your fourth fold, you take that corner of your triangle over to that edge. And again, you've got to really try to get a good crease because it's hard to cut otherwise. We'll give that a good crease down there. 
And then the thing to remember with this, which you don't do have to do with the four petals, is cut this piece off. So the piece what's sticking out there, which I'll just draw a line across. Yeah. Cut across the dotted line. Okay, so we're there, that's cut off. And then you do the same thing as before, um, making sure that you just leave a little piece at the bottom so there's something for it to hold on to. So we'll start here, going up again, and we'll try the half moon shape once again just to keep it nice and easy. There. And this should be similar to that one, but with an extra couple of leaves on it, extra couple of petals, sorry. Fold that out. And there you go. There's one with seven on. One, two, three, four, five, one, eight, even. Eight, double. Yeah, and again, we keep this piece which we had before, but we'll use the red one just to show you a bit of contrast. But if you take that again, you've got to do your creases really tight when you put the extra petals on, because it does get hard to cut. So big crease. Put that off, because we always start with a square, as I said before. Your second fold there, this will be really hard because it's such a small piece of paper, but I'm sure we can manage it. So there's your third fold. your last fold, it's going to be really hard to cut, but we'll do it, we'll do it. Okay, so same as before, you've got that little piece at the top which we need to cut off, like so, and then just do exactly as we've done before. Is she rounding it off to a half moon? Hopefully, when this falls out, it should make a nice centerpiece for your other one. And the good thing to do with this is just experiment with different shapes and then you can, you'd be amazed what sorts of flowers you can come up with with different shapes and different cuts, if you can get them open. There we go. There's a nice easy centerpiece for that one. Okay, and the next one we're going to show you is, is basically the, the eight leaf design again. Uh, but just putting a little different cut in it, which makes it look a bit nicer, I think. So we start off, get to our square piece of paper like we have been. Fold it like so. Again, give it a good crease. Cut that piece off, which we have been doing. Ah, good. Yes. Again, keep that piece for after. Fold your triangle, which is your second fold. And again, a nice tight crease with your thumbnail or a ruler or something. You can use the back of the scissors, you can use a ruler. Third fold. And then finally your fourth fold. Again, what we've got to do, cut that piece off, which makes it level with there. And then this time around, I, mean, I won't draw the line because we do that many, and obviously when you make your flower, uh, the lines might show out on it, but just to show you how I'm cutting it, I'm going to draw the line on. So again, you don't want to start too far down because the flower will just fall apart, but basically you're going to cut up along that shape, a little nick there, another little nick, and then back down to about there. So hopefully, if this goes to plan, it should look nice. If we start up there, and then give it a little nick down, another nick up. It doesn't have to be precise, just especially if you're not marking it. And then another one down here. And hopefully when this one falls out, it should be quite nice. There. 
as you can see where the black markers on it that's why i don't use black mark if you're going to mark it use a pencil but you don't really need to you can just cut the shape roughly again what we'll do keep the other piece but we'll use a different color like we did before again this is going to be a bit harder because it's smaller but let's see how it turns out give it a good crease again cut across so we can square And then, second fold. Third fold. And finally the fourth fold. And this is hard to cut because it's so small. But again, lock the top off there. Try your best to Keep to the shape what we've done before. There's one. Give a little nick down the middle. It's hard. There's your little nick down the middle, and we'll just round that edge off. And let's see what this looks like. Hopefully, similar to what the yellow bit is for the outside. There we go, and there's a little inset for that one. You can swap them around, change them around, put the white with the yellow, the yellow with the red, etc, etc. Um, and just experiment and have a mess about and have some fun. You can see we've got all sorts of different ones here. Um, and then basically what we do, no matter what we've got, all these different shapes, all these different sizes, colours, and then all we do, you just experiment and we start gluing them together then. Okay, so now you've got your different shapes and we can glue them together. Um, I like to use alternative colours, but you know, you can use all the same, you can use yellow right through if you like. Um, but for now, we'll start off with we're going to start off with the white, get a bit of glue. Really green up. And again, it's your own choice, but I like to put the leaves alternating so that you can see the leaves underneath. Just looks a bit nicer. That might just be my taste, not everybody's taste. And that's the sort of effect you can get. It's a nice little flower for Easter. Um, again, you can mess about and do different ones. We've got that one there. Again, there's a yellow one we can do. Bit of glue in the middle. You see the different ones here, four leaves and eight leaves. There you go. Lots of different flowers, and there's no right way or wrong way. Have a mess about, have a play around, experiment, try different colours with different colours, different shapes with different shapes, and enjoy yourself. And happy Easter.